What is going on everybody? Eric made 360 here. We are live with some Wipeout 2048. It feels like in my ear they have the audio settings a bit wrong. No, I think we're I think we're fine. Yep, the mic is working. Doing a sound check live. That's how professional I am. I'm very happy that you are here. Tonight we're going to play some Wipeout 2048 campaign and we are also going to play a game of called Guess the Ship where I put up the stats in a particular Wipeout HD ship on the screen and you are supposed to guess which ship it is. Looking forward to that one. Alright, let's check out the campaign here. Just realized that I am on the wrong account. Uh, that's what happens. <laughs> no worries, I can do this on Switch user. Logging into my alter ego, Eric. And there it is. And we are back again. Oh, Nitro Boost here first. <laughs> hello, Nitro Boost. And hello, hey, hey. A pleasure to have you here. Oh, no, you weren't. I'm oh, sorry. I just forgot what I, what I said. <laughs> All right, we are already on level 24. Even after three sessions. Okay, no, you weren't. Oh, you were talking to each other. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I guess I can check the YouTube statistics to determine which one of you were here first, but I'm equally happy that both of you are here. <laughs> we are a bit into the 2049 grid. We have the 2048, 2049 and 2050 grid. And as you can see we have a couple of more events here in uh, 20... Uh, <laughs> Eric was talking to Nitro. <laughs> yeah, okay, Nitro wrote the, fir the first comment. At least his comment showed up first. <laughs> okay, which this grid will lead me to? Yeah, let's just get the zone event over with. Which was the ship I liked for zone? I like the carry. I don't know if the stats of the actual ships are relevant in so on. But, uh, we'll see. Hello Gex Gecko. Pleasure to have you here again. We're kicking this stream off with my favorite ra racing event. A zone event. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Turning the volume down here a bit. Class. And that everything is going okay for you in Transcendence League if you are competing there. Personally, I had a bit of a hectic week with some exam grading. So I only managed to produce one Let's Play video where I showcased a hydrojet racing game called Riptide GP Renegade. But this week is uh, looking better. Also spring is here in Sweden so I have been paying some attention to my motorbike to see if everything is working okay there. And unfortunately I realized that my tires are getting worn. So I have to probably to buy a new couple of those. Which is expensive. But no worries, my channel is closing in on the uh, second monetization tier. <laughs> Soon I'll be getting some of that ad revenue. Some of that internet money. <laughs> if you get the South Park reference, which you may be. Mm, if you may be, you don't because you're young. Ouch. Check the chat and bump the wall. Alright. Oops. 
fiddling with the computer and raising a zone event, not a very good idea. Zone 10 clear. Yeah, I'm really not. I was about to say I'm not a fan of the Zone Messi 24 Gates, but I think they are one of the harder challenges in the game. I did not struggle the same amount with the uh, Zone events in uh, in the HD or the Fury campaigns. Maybe they weren't a breeze, but yeah, they were a breeze compared to these ones. Obviously, the Zone levels. To get the elite pass, it's much higher. Well, when I say struggle, I, s I want to be clear that I struggled with uh, getting the elite pass. Getting just the pass wasn't uh, all that difficult. But the elite pass passes are tough, in my opinion. Yeah, this, the zone levels you need to achieve are much higher than in Age of Fury, but then again, the tracks are much wider. And now we are closing in on the speeds where it's hard for me to engage with the chat and talk at the same time. No, no, engage with the chat and race at the same time. Apparently talk as well. There's some more wall bumping here. Yes, yeah, so 30 is pass. And that will get us to the next event, that should be no problem. Zone 20 clear. So Nitro Boost, how close are you at from completing Mad Max? And the playthrough you're doing now on your channel, is that your first playthrough of the game, or are you replaying the game? Because I, I think the Mad Max game, I did complete it uh, back when it was uh, released. I actually bought the game close to release, and I really enjoyed it. It's an underrated action-adventure game. Zone 25, clear. Five more zones to get the pass. <clears throat> I don't settle for it. just a pass. I'm a teacher, you know. Maybe I should start calling that. Instead of writing grades on my student's exam, I should write pass. Or elite pass if they perform well. Unfortunately, they will not get the reference because they have most certainly not played this game. And we got the pass. Ouch. I just checked the chat and I bounced through the wall again. Okay, can we do 19 more zones? Elite pass is zone 50. So far during the stream series, I have been close to the Elite Pass. I've been shy of about between two and four zones to get the Elite Pass on the first try. And I really don't think that grinding zone events is the funniest thing to watch on live stream. So even though I guess I could manage the Elite Pass, I guess it's not a lot of fun just to watch me play a zone event for 45 minutes. But I did, I did complete all zone events on Elite Pass when this game was released, but that was a couple years ago. On my main account, the zone events are all yellow. So I know you guys are writing up a couple of comments now, sorry if I'm not responding, it's just I have to watch the screen. I could pause the game, but it's usually not a good idea to do that during these intense high-speed races to sort of get out of the zone, in the literal sense. Here we're coming up on the straights on the bridge here, need to get the ship to settle down a bit. 
Mac 1. I can't remember which zone Mac 1 was, and I can't really watch the zone level either. Okay, 40. Maybe 10. Okay, 41. Is it possible to make it? That would be such a terrific start of the stream. Start off with a zone event elite pass. But let's not get ahead of myself. This section is quite tricky on high speed and with these stupid colors that makes everything blend together. And this turn... yeah, these turns that are not all that difficult on the regular speed classes it's getting a bit trickier on Mac 1. Here we have another one of these narrow turns, an uncharacteristically narrow part of the track for being a Wipeout 24-day turn. Usually these tracks are much wider. These sections of this track is looking more like a track from uh, HD Fury. Oof. And after this is over, however it goes, we're gonna play the first round of Guess the Shape. Ouch, ouch, ouch. 48. We have about 40% health left. Ah, we got the elite pass. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. My first elite pass of the, this replay of... Uh, of the campaign during the stream series. So now I don't care all that much, but I'm gonna grind out the last bits of experience that you get for getting to higher zone levels. Narrow turn once more. Oh, yes, we could. There goes my ship. And the event is over. But we got the elite pass. Oh, and we got a super chat from Solar Exetic. You shouldn't have, man. Thank you so much. Let's see. Hey, uh, I won't be able to watch night fully, so this should give you some spirit. Hello to everyone, also. Go B248. Thank you so much, Ben. It's, it was a pleasure to have you here shortly. And thank you so much for the super chat. I'm collecting money for my new uh, computer setup, and that's why I have super chats turned on. And also, I, uh, I, I buy more games with the money I get, so I can s mostly, mostly indie games from indie developers on Steam. So it's a. Uh, uh, yeah. If you want to support me financially, it's a great way to, um, to, to, to yeah, you indirectly support in the developers. All right, let's see here what I missed. Yeah, <laughs> hey, hey, repeated my comment about internet money. That's a South Park reference. Let's see here. And get to say hi, and that was said thank you. All right, nice. I had a busy weekend, went to town called Glo Yeah, that's the yeah. Gloucester. Is that how you pronounce it? It's, it's looked, it's supposed to pronounce Gloucester, but I know that it's not. Lady loves place of worship, so I got some pictures of it for her. And hey, oh, nice. Then today was painting my room. Yeah, home improvement is always fun as well. Saving for a pop bro, in the zone, on the zone, what the bleep. Yeah, that's the usual dad joke I make when I do, when I do zone events on these streams. <laughs> hey, it says, currently working on a portfolio. The deadline is tomorrow. There's going to be no sleep. Now. Oh, I see. And thank you so much for joining me on the stream, even if you have some kind of uh, deadline. That's very kind of you. And Nitro says, oh, if anyone asks, you should tell your students about your passion. And then a couple of comments about the event. Yeah, yeah, I actually have been thinking, I, I, I have mentioned my YouTube channel, or rather channels, on uh, in school to my students. 
the sort of something that I would want to keep um, to myself for various reasons. I'll get into that in a bit. But now we're gonna play a game of Guess the Ship. I'm gonna read less comments, but first we're gonna play a game called Guess the Ship. I'm gonna put up the stats of one ship from Wipeout HD, and you're gonna just guess which one it is. It's a Wipeout HD ship. No Fury, no 24 date, it's HD. The first person who writes the, 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 the right ship wins the glory of it all. Alright, we're gonna start with a bit easy. Which ship stats is are these? Speed 80, thrust 80, handling 80, and shield 80. The first person to write the comment wins. I know there's a bit of a delay in the chat, you probably have already written it. But let's see who gets it first. I am curious. Cyber wins. It's Mirage. The very, very balanced Mirage ship. And yeah, Night Roost comes second this time. You were first on the stream, but second in the first round of Guest Ship. Thank you so much, everybody, for playing. Mirage is the most balanced ship in the game, I guess you could say. Could say. Uh, 80 is actually slightly above. Oh, no, I'd say it's about average for, for, uh, for all the stats. And uh, Mirage got hidden, uh, solid hidden stats as well. So it's a very viable ship, but this actually takes us into Cyber's question. What is your favorite ship when it comes to design only, not considering the stats, and which we think is the ugliest? Well, I think the ugliest ship, and I make no secret of this, that is why, uh, the HD version of Mirage. I can't believe what they thought when they designed that ship. It looks like some kind of utility vehicle to scrape the bottoms for mineral rich rocks or something. It's completely hideous. The prettiest HD ship I would say is uh, Harimau and it's very sleek fish-like design. But there are a lot of good looking ships. Alright let's delete this and we're gonna jump into... Oh, okay, gone with you and a combat event on Subway. Let's do... Where are the, yeah let's do um, Kyrix uh, Just gonna fiddle with the stream here in the background, and here we go. There we go. Okay, let's start the event. So now we are in the combat event. The goal is to deal as much damage as possible to your opponent. Uh, plasma miss. Okay, miss it. Ouch. There are some special... There we go. Missile. Okay, so far we only got rockets and plasma. No, that's a missile. Sometimes there are certain rules in the event, that, like for example, uh, only certain uh, weapons are uh, uh, are active. But now it seems like all weapons are active. Did I hit with that plasma? I guess I did. It's hard to tell how much. Ah, oh, two rockets missed. Yeah, I guess that uh, cannon might be one of the weaker weapons in the game because it requires you to to steer when you shoot. Ah, oh, misjudged the side shift. So, for example, with a missile. You can sort of fire and forget, and you can keep looking for the optimal racing line. But with a. Ouch! But with a. Cannon. You need to steer at the same time as you shoot. That I blew up. Hmm, I can't remember the score I needed for uh, for elite pass. We'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna 
Oh, that was the luckiest plasma of the day. Not sure what happened. Okay, pass. Yeah, I got first place, but in elimination events, you need to reach a certain score. And this was actually relatively tough. I got 74 last race. Come on, overtake me. Ouch, hit that bomb, but it was kind of hard to avoid. Contender eliminated. Contender eliminated. Contender eliminated. Yeah, I'm kind of firing on weapons without aiming properly now, but that's because you need to get rid of your weapons to get the new weapons to keep the score going. Oh! Oh, almost. Oh, here it comes everybody. Oh, that was a good weapon to get there. The only 38. Did it even, even more plasma in this last race? Plasma. 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 Eliminated. Bomb. I didn't even wait for the luck on this. I didn't Race get the complete. elite pass there. Over oh, see here. What is I saw your reason why I she and which track was it on? Cyber, I have no idea. I usually just go for the the the, the gold medals or the elite passes. Uh, so and I really don't. Uh, uh, Consider how, how much after that I get. I get. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, Gloucester. Yes, that's how you pronounce it. Let's see, Eric. Hey, Eric. Anything more on your next team versus team on Oh no, let's get that going. Uh, Nitro, you might as well tell me which teams you would like to see in the next uh, team versus Force team tournament in 2048. Give me yours. Uh, the best suggestion. Any case you hit L1 to com comment, yeah, of course, yeah, thank you for the tip. I can do the combat spin. I tend not to use that all that often. Let's go where the That's the combat spin. Maybe I should go for the. We are absorbing that. Contender eliminated. Cannon. Plasma. Contender eliminated. Bomb. Missile. Bomb. Ah. Poor rocket execution there. Plasma. Missile. Contender eliminated. Maybe I should go over the defensive pass as well. I did not get off to a good start there, we're gonna restart this one. Oricom versus Kyrex. That actually sounds interesting. In case you don't know, I have started a trend, I also started a trend, that's not what I did. But we have a... Um, I did a live stream where we pitted... We were 8 players in the lobby and we pitted... Two teams against each other in Wipeout 2048. And all different ship types had to be represented on the track. 
And the first event was Pfizer versus AD Systems, where Pfizer came out on top. And Kyrix versus Oricom actually sounds like a funny matchup. Because the Kyrix Rotor ship is a combat ship. And Oricom's prototype ship is a, a very sturdy ship. So that was maybe interesting if it balances out there. I think both ships are quite slow as well. Hmm, I don't remember struggling with the combat events. Okay. That was a decent combat screen. I just nudged the tip of my ship there at the wrong moment. Missile contender eliminated. Don't make it this time either. There's a bit of luck in all these events because I think you get more points for destroying other ships. Race complete. Pass. First place. Okay, one more time. Lady White says, My time to shine. Yeah, I You'll be definitely be in Team Kyrix, Lady White. And thank you for being here as well, Lady White. Oh, it's... Yeah, I need to hit more green pads. I might as well just put out the bombs. Uh, Eliminated. Plasma. Wait, there's a choice between yellow and green pad. I guess the yellow pad is better. But if you just see. Oh, that would be unlucky. Oh! I got hit. Oh, <laughs> oh, I hit a corpse on the track. Yep, no lock on there. Wall. You get quite a bit of Come on. Ouch. <laughs> Lucky the carrier ship is sturdy as well. And it's over. First place. One more time. I'll see if I grind this one out. This is also an event that I apparently did complete at one point in my life. Okay, did anybody just take the skill kit? Contender eliminated. Missile. I think that I lost too much hit potential there. Combat systems ready. Yeah, I might as well mention that I really appreciate that you guys take part of your Sunday to be here with me during the stream. I really appreciate it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, come on. Yeah, take that. <laughs> Bomb. 
I sort of felt like I had a good flow there in the beginning. Yeah, there we go. The two classmates, and you get quite a bit of points from the classmates. I didn't miss. I'm not sure if you lose points for getting blown up, but you lose time, obviously. Oh. <laughs> I got hit in through the bomb. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna make it. To that one doesn't count. Plus, with put that, put that train there. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Not sure what happened. Then. Bomb. Contender eliminated. Rockets. Missile. Contender eliminated. Plasma. Should I stop taking this round? Yeah, but that's this is a lot of time without hitting uh, anybody. Bomb. Contender eliminated. Rockets. Plasma, missile, cannon, bomb. I remember the elimination events during. Ouch. Oh, yeah, I hit with that plasma. During the live stream to be chaotic to say the least. I think my still highest score is still from the the first run. Combat systems ready. Yeah, what else did I talk about before? Yeah, I talked about. Yeah, you should share with the students uh, your passion. Yeah, the problem is that I generally don't go into conflicts with my students. It's relatively easy to avoid. Ouch. But I'm a bit afraid of doing it and uh, the students knowing about my channel because yeah, after all they are very young and they are potential internet trolls. But usually when I talk about YouTube with my students is uh, usually in a positive manner. They tend to think it's... At first it's a bit weird, like, what, you have a YouTube channel? And they don't say it out loud, but they feel like they're thinking, you have a YouTube channel, but you're like a hundred years old. Are you really doing YouTube? And then again, the student doesn't really know how... how to support their favorite content creators. I mean, probably they will just watch bits and pieces of my videos, which isn't all that helpful. Or maybe subscribe and not watch any of my videos, which isn't really that good either. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. Give me a good weapon. I said a good weapon. Bomb. 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 
Ah, uh, that, that I needed that fast night. Oh, no. Seven. Ah, that was very close. Race complete. Pass. First place. Okay. I had a bit of flow there, so one more time, but this will be the last time. In the meantime, you may want to tell me what is your favorite game that you are playing right now that isn't a racing game. The game that you're playing when you don't feel like playing a racing game, what game are you playing then? Right now. Not your favorite game ever, just the game you're playing right now. Oh, now we're after a really good start here. Wrong tunnel again. Contender eliminated. Bomb. Plasma. 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 Missile. Rocket. Get that one, not short. Plasma. Missile. Bomb. Bomb. Energy critical. Yes. Contender eliminated. Missile. Contender eliminated. Cannon. Missile. Missile. Contender eliminated. Plasma. Missile. Oh sorry for Contender stop stop for stopping Bomb. talking. I just Bomb. felt that I was. Let's not grind that one out anymore. There we go, that was the event I was on. Oh, a zone event. Yeah, we need to get the pass on that one as well. What did I miss? Mad Max or Just Cause? Oh, Just Cause 3. I haven't played that, but I know that the Just Cause games are... It looks like they are a lot of fun. Step on Jobs says, hey, what up? Hello, welcome to the stream. Pleasure to have you here. And that was a, both made by the same people, I just remembered. Yeah, is it, is it Avalanche Studios? I think it's uh, one, of, one of the Swedish studios. Go Sweden! That's where I'm from, where I'm from. Kyrex Agility. <sighs> Are you playing on PC. Uh, no, this game is not available on PC without going through some illegal hurdles, I guess. I'm playing on a PS5. But interestingly enough, Wipeout Mega Collection is a game that runs really well on older PS4 consoles. Now we didn't even check what I needed for Elite Pass. Probably something high, I think it was 60. Let's get this event out of the way. I know that most of you in the chat are familiar with Wipeout games in general, and this game specifically, but I might as well mention that in a zone event that I'm playing right now, everything starts off very very slow and it starts ends usually very very fast. Your ship goes faster and faster and you have no way of slowing down. Eventually you will bump into enough walls so that your ship blows up and the goal is to for that to happen as late as possible.
to make this stream series possible, I mean this uh, playing the 24 day campaign from the beginning, I needed to get the streaming software OBS working. Because uh, my usual way of streaming before this was to stream straight from my from a PS5, and that works generally fine, you can use the camera and all that, so it's, uh, it's really no problem. But uh, you need to link your YouTube account, and you need to do that to a PlayStation Plus account. Meaning that you can only play the games from from, from the perspective, so to speak, of uh, one profile. But now so I'm streaming turn. from my computer, and then I could create a new profile and start the 2048 campaign from the beginning. Oh, I forgot. We are supposed to play guess the ship. Okay. After this run, we're gonna play Guess the Ship. Perfect lap. Sorry, I saw a couple of comments there. I will respond shortly. Or however long this takes. Zone 15, clear. Yeah, Any my comments? next video this week I might be able to do, if I find something fun to do in a let's play video I will do that, but my next bigger project will be a video about Pacer. That one other Entry racing game that you might not have heard of that looks a lot like Wipeout but plays quite differently. That did really hit off in the way that we wanted it to. So a video about what happened to Pacer is coming up. Perfect lap. Zone 20 clear. Yeah, I don't know if you make YouTube videos yourself, sometimes it's really hard to know which videos will uh, hit it off. Sometimes after you're doing this for a couple of years now that I've been doing, you get sort of get a feeling, especially you get a feeling when something is not going to blow up. And me just uh, switching on my console and uh, playing a game that not a lot of people have heard of is usually not a video that gives me a ton of views, but for example, I know that for example, if I make a top list video, for example, my video about top 10 entry guide racing games you can play right now, that uh, was a video that uh, performed slightly better than I was uh, expecting. But sometimes it's really hard to know which video videos will do that. For example, one video I did when I just played Ballistic NG for the first time. I just didn't have a script, I just put on my con no, not my console, my PC, my crappy work computer, and Ballistic D works really well on my crappy work computer. And he has to play the game. And the video was called, I think it was called Ballistic D, best best AD racer on PC question mark. And that video for some reason got thousand a couple of thousand views that I was not expecting. And then of course I've made videos that I was expecting to perform quite well, that uh, didn't perform well. So it is always a bit of excitement the first uh, days of, uh, of some videos. But then again, for YouTubing the concept of evergreen is quite important. And evergreen means that your content should be relevant right now of course but uh, but also in the future so for example uh, a video called the best racing games on the PlayStation Store sale would that video would become irrelevant two weeks because uh, that video will be relevant for two weeks because that's how long the sale will last and that video will not be relevant for anyone anymore but a video called, yeah, 
whatever, the best Metroidvania games on the PlayStation 5. That video that could be relevant for, for quite a while. So I do have some videos that it's, I see this in the statistics that people are still watching them. For example, one of my most viewed videos still is the video I the first video I ever did called AD, uh, 2023, a good year for AD racing. Even though we are a good way into 2024, that video is still getting views, which I then again I wasn't expecting. So it's always fun to to see which videos are successful in the long run. Ah, oh, side shifted too much there. Ah, oh. okay. We're steady now. Okay. Sometimes I think I press the air brake when I really shouldn't pressing the air brake. In the corners, of course, it, you have to press the air brake or you won't turn enough. But when you get out of the corner, I, keep, I still keep pressing the air brakes, even though I shouldn't, because my ship yanks from side to side. And it, um, I struggle to make it stable on the straights. Yeah, we already got the pass. Sorry if I missed a comment, I know that I probably have a couple of comments now. Sorry if I haven't seen them, I will read them of course shortly. I always read all my comments. I haven't turned into a, a YouTube diva yet. And I always respond to every comment I get as well. Sometimes I need to wait a couple of days because my my YouTubing schedule is quite hectic sometimes. I don't have a lot of time in the evenings to to put on YouTube. So that's why I tend to nowadays produce about one video a week. I really want to do more but I'm also a bit afraid of burning out because that has happened during my YouTube career as well. If you push yourself too hard and then all of a sudden you don't feel like uh, making, making videos for a while. And that's not very good for your channel or for yourself. So you really should... You need to know when you need to take a break. But I want to keep a schedule of at least one video a week. Hopefully more, but at least one video. So I tend to push myself to do that. Because if you want to get the channel to be successful, it requires a lot of dedication. I know that from experience. I guess you could get lucky, I guess. If you make a video that goes viral, and you sort of build on that, then you could... I'm pretty sure that you... Yeah, I know that you can get your channel monetized within, within weeks. No! <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, come on. <laughs> One more zone from Elite Pass. That was very unsatisfying. All right, let's see what I missed here. Yeah, Avalanche Studios and Square Enix, they made Mad Max. I mean, they talked about that quite some time ago. And Square Enix makes the Tomb Raider games. Yeah, they did. Nerd will say, also Eric, there is an element of Burnout Paradise that might require your attention. Oh, it does, it is. I did not know that. Is there futuristic racing in Burnout Paradise? That I would like to know. Damn, Square Enix goaded. Is Square Enix sh shut down? <laughs> I don't think Square Enix is, is shut down. That would probably not happen anytime soon. <laughs> hmm. I don't think so. Square Enix. I think they just released uh, the DLC for Final Fantasy 16. I don't. I don't know. Is Square Enix owned by a bigger company? I'm not sure. 
And now that you decided your Mad Max do videos aren't doing so hot. I think you're, there's nothing wrong with your Mad Max videos. Uh, I just think that they are um, uh, not trending with your core audience, your racing game fans. That's my best guess. Why do Oscar just die? Black Series, Liverpool, Bizarre, Frontier, and Square Enix. Okay. I I'm pretty sure. Okay, someone Google if Square Enix is, sh is shut down. I'm probably relatively confident that they are not. But uh, the, hey, hey, there are a lot of studios that are, shut that are shutting down right now. So it might be uh, um, confused something else. Or they are shut down, but I really, really hope not. Alright, let's play a game of Guess the Ship. I'm going to put up the stats of a ship from from Wipeout HD and you're going, you are going to guess the stats. It's no, not a Fury ship, not a 24-8 ship, it's a Wipeout HD ship. The first person wins. From which ships, from which ship in Wipeout HD are these stats? Speed 80, thrust 70, handling 90 and shield 70. Which ship are we looking at? Which team is this? Which team might this be? Any takers? Am I the only one thinking this? Is this yeah, Lady White, you're right, it's Harry Mao. Harry Mao is known for having the exact same stats as Asagai, with one more or ten point, if you will, less in thrust, which might be a bit curious, but it is because. Uh, Harry Mao has a bit more ground grip than Asaga, so Asaga should be slightly more drifty in the corners. Good work, Lady White. We have been streaming for uh, 50 minutes. We are going to do. Yeah, Nitro, you're right, Harry Mao. Lady White was just faster. Another combat event, the B class, and all weapons are on. Score 100 points. Alright, let's do this. Maybe another combat ship then. But I guess that... Okay, let's just compare how... Maybe you get the same points. Yeah, what? Let's do Fizar. Fizar Fire. Hello, Beak. Great to have you here as well. You just missed a very anticlimactic ending of the last zone event. We got one zone from Elite Pass. Huh. Let, let's not talk about that anymore. Yeah, there have been some layoffs in the video game industries recently. There's another Swedish player on the scene called Embracer Group that has expanded exponentially in buying off studios that they couldn't then couldn't support. And then they shut all of them down. So that's a way that Sweden has not con contributed in a good way to the video game industry recently. Oh my missile hit. Bomb missile. Contender eliminated. Plasma cannon. Contender eliminated. Rockets missile. Oh, I guess. Plasma. Contender eliminated. Bomb. Rockets. Cannon missile. Bomb. 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 Yeah, I log back to the base when you can get an Elise pass in uh, in seconds. And the missile. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Rockets. Plasma. Bomb. Bomb. Contender eliminated. Missile. Bomb. Bomb. Contender eliminated. <laughs> I think someone hit my bomb when they were close to close to me. Contender eliminated. Ah. Oh, I got bumped, but we plasma. hit them anyway. Missile rockets. 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 <laughs> yeah, you keep your weapon even if you die in this game. Ouch! But now we need to catch up. Bomb. Okay, twenty more points. Bomb. Ouch. 
Yeah, we talked before about Nitro, about your... Your... Or generally... Videos in general that, uh, that don't trend on your channel. I know for a fact that keeping your niche quite narrow is important. Making videos about the different types of video games that there are not very many content creators that can do that and get consistently good views. And the people who does have probably built up their channels over a long time. And if you watch, if you just watch your subscription feed of all the, all the channels that you are subscribed to, and uh, if you check the, the content creators you may count about multiple types of video games, they usually also have a very low number of views compared to their subscribers. They could get uh, tens of thousands of views, but maybe they have a million subscribers. And the more niche channel might have a hundred thousand subscribers, but their videos get 50,000 views consistently. We got the Elite Pass on that one. Damn that AD got absolutely shredded. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to, but there was a lot of shredding in this event. And hey, he says also Cameron, which is Nitro Boost. If we need a break from uh, SF versus Venom, we can get to Beak in for some races. On GT, are playing talking about Gran Turismo. Yeah, that's the thing about niches. Because my channel is called AG Racing Central, so obviously and to get racing games is what people expect. But I have been able to make videos about uh, other type of racing games. For example, I did a couple of videos about Rocket Racing, the r which is the racing mode in in Fortnite, and that also got decent views. So I'm sort of experimenting with how how far I can uh, expand my content, because. It, Sometimes there's not a lot of things happening on the AD racing scene, but there are a lot of futuristic like uh, racing games out there That I want to make videos about and now we are on which speed class what is a class okay Let's do Pfizer with the orange livery speed. Elite pass well done. Yeah, thank you that one went much smoother in the last combat event Here we got it on the first try Speaking of those, speak says, probably something more coming. Arc Eraser gets a pass usually when talking about AG Racers. Yeah, you're right. Have you seen the online leaderboard update I brought for my game? No, maybe I wrote that on Discord. I've been checking Discord not very frequently lately, so, so sorry if I missed that. I will definitely g get on to checking that out. And if you want to showcase your game beak, you know that you always have a spot on my channel for doing so. And that goes for it. any of you who might be working on an anti gravity racing game. Which I guess aren't a lot of you, but yeah, you know. I have no no problem with showcasing other developers on my My channel is sort of sort of what I wanted to do, and I have been doing a um, couple of interviews on the channel, as you may know, which has been super interesting. So that's the way for me. Yeah, I, I get to video with. Oh, sorry, I, I don't know. I keep thinking that I'm playing uh, an elimination man, but this is a race. Now I need to just come first. I don't need to shoot people. Is the goods place to use a turbo here? Who knows? Nope. It's not. Well, it might be. If you stay on the track. Pitching down. I'm using the turbo in a less than ideal spot. Hmm, I don't even know about that. 
Someone rolling out my rocket. Yeah, I like this rock. This feels like the skill cat here. Okay, are they getting ahead of me? No, never gonna make it for a better roll there. Okay, second phase. Ouch! Missed a couple speed press there, but we got the turbo. Ah, uh, oh, come on, that was. That must have been a missile. Oh. missile. Okay, it's not over yet. Two laps left. Missile. I was kind of hoping this was the end of the race, but no. I think you need to let go of the brake in that corner. At least with the non agility ship. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> yeah, I'm not overperforming right now, but still in the lead. Oh, I tried to do a barrel roll there, it didn't count. But it did for them. Of course they have a shield. Okay, one more lap. Haha, <laughs> take that, Oricon. Your ships look good now, but in 50 years it will be hideous. And I'm referring to the HP ships that take place after. Ah, oh, you should make the variable there. Because Wipeout 2048 is a prequel. So maybe you can do another barrel there. I'm not using autopilot. Ah! I sort of preempted to try to shoot there, <laughs> but we made it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, let's see what I miss here. Big test, yes, sir. I shall ask when I have a good game to showcase. Yes, of course. The artist I got for it. Yeah, you're talking about the artist last stream. The artist I got for it is working hard to make it look pretty. Nice, great that you're outsourcing it. Hey, he says you're almost there. Well, that's quite good if you want to end up in the next station. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> also, yes, Gran Turismo, the more the more the merrier. Beak says, Eric, I, al I always did that to wall grind when I started out. Yeah, I guess I have to work on that as well. I have ideas for GT challenges. Oh, nice. You're going to make some Gran Turismo content. I know that game is... Um, I'm sure it's great. But uh, speaking about channel niches again, I think that realistic racing games is something that I try to stray away from because I know there are other people who make content about that much better than I can do. But now we're gonna play a game of Guess the Ship again. Let's see here what we got. Alright, I'm gonna put up the stats of an HD ship on screen. It's from Wipeout HD and you're gonna guess which ship it is. The first person to write the name of the ship wins. Here we go. Which team do these stats belong to? Maybe it's a bit small. I need to adjust it. We have a speed of 70, thrust of 90, handling of 90, and a shield of 80. Which ship is this from Wipeout HD? We're gonna see if some. I know there's a bit, bit of a delay here. It is AG Systems. Big set Asagai. That's not far off. I think Asagai has one more point in speed and one point less in uh, handling and one point less in shield as well, and one point less in thrust. So, okay. <laughs> uh, so I guess Asagai was uh, slightly off, but Nitro. You made it, AD System, and that, as we all know, is your favorite team as well. And B, you said or something, uh, demographic info for Eric, a lot of Wiper people also play GT. I guess that's true, at least in your, your, your the top echelon of the community that uh, you guys are a part of. It seems like a lot of people are playing uh, uh, Grand Turismo 7. 
if that's the case for the general public, might be. I'm not sure, but that might be the case. Both are PlayStation exclusive games, so it might be so, actually. It's just that I don't play it all that often. Alright, let's remove this. We're gonna do one more race and then one more game of... First place. Oh, and not a level up, or maybe just an unlock of something. Yeah, the 25th league. Okay, to sum up the 2049 league, we have two zone events. Let's see, I can can you see your best here? I guess you can't see your best here. Yo, can you see if yeah, you can see if it's a pass or elite pass. So two zone events that we didn't quite get the elite pass on, but we did get it on this zone event. And then this annoying uh, this annoying elimination event that I just I think I got 90 when I needed 100. And this zone event. Oh my I'm going to have nightmares about the about the zone event on Town Town where I got 59 and I needed 60. But quite happy with how it all went. I have a couple of more minutes to spare and we're gonna start off on the 2050 league. Let me see, Oricon prototype challenge. Alright, we're gonna do some prototype challenges to unlock my Age Systems, my favorite prototype. But let's start off with the Oricon prototype. Yeah, here's this weird thing where you can select uh, the VR ship. The VR ships in this game look so cool. They all look the same, but they look really, really cool. If I click on this ship, it's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna appear when I start the game. And the Oricon ship here, they are starting to trend towards the 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 hideous design of the. Uh, FX 300 and FX 350 and 400 leagues because other ships they look okay in this game this ship is not very pretty but it also extremely sturdy so I think the design really sells the whole sturdiness of it all so in, in that sense it's a good design and the thing with this ship is it doesn't stutter it's utterly immovable and cannot be slowed down by other ships or weapons However, all this extra power requires a wider than standard chassis, which will have an unknown effect on handling. The ship also is able to pick up any defensive weapons. I see. Oricon prototype. And VX says, "No, I love this design. Yeah, it looks slightly better than the HD ship, maybe. But uh, I'm not judging anyone else, uh, anyone else's opinions about the design." I am not an authority when it comes to ship design. I'm just speaking what I think. I completely respect other people's opinions. Combat systems ready. Yes, you can. I can use. I have the music turned up now because the music in uh, in uh, Wipeout Omega Collection is uh, copyrighted. And I, I was, I tried to start. I did. I did try to uh, to use Spotify, but the problem was to do. Can't I absorb weapons? I guess you can't. Oh, it comes the quake. Okay, we are playing eliminated. I thought it was a race. Okay, we're gonna do that one again. Combat systems ready. Beak says Mirage Fury looks amazing. I agree. Mirage HD is the ugliest ship in the game. Mirage Fury is uh, much, much better looking. Contender eliminated. Bomb. Contender eliminated. Plasma. Break. Contender eliminated. Missile. How did I miss everyone on that? Yeah, I thought just now that I was playing a race and not an elimination. <laughs> it's a bit confusing, <laughs> especially when you don't take the time to read the event description. Oh, 
Contender eliminated. Bomb. Contender eliminated. Man, I guess I just need to pass in this one. Oh, come on. Can the missile make it that far? Contender eliminated. Missile. I want a quake as well. I haven't gotten a quake this entire stream. Leech beam. Oh, I got the leech beam. Ah, oh, here we go. Energy critical. Contender eliminated. So the quake is active. Missile. And if you get a good quake, quake. Uh, contender eliminated. Speak of quakes. Contender eliminated. Rockets. Well, that passed at least. Okay, I have any. Bomb. Enough, hopefully. Contender eliminated. Nice. Oh, you get so many points for elimination, so there's a bit of luck involved in these events as well. Because there's no really way of, of knowing if you're going to eliminate someone or not. Ah, oh, I should have waited slightly with that fast. Oh, is, do we need a hundred? Can we make it to a hundred? We could. Nice. Yeah, looking forward to the team versus team event with uh, Oricom. Oh, I might as well st talk to you why I have so many Wi-Fi players in the, ch in the chat. We're going to play a couple of more races before we end the stream, but I want to throw the question out. Uh, we are, of course, going to do uh, another team versus team uh, event like we did before in Wi-Fi 2048 uh, during a live stream. Um, are we up for it again? Lady, Beak, Nitro? Elite Pat, first place. Let's go said, my favorite team is Full Power Sios from Fusion. Yeah, I didn't play a lot of Fusion, but I know that Sios is a uh, half of uh, what later became EGX. And now I guess we unlock the Oricom prototype. And now I think we're gonna play one more run of Guess the Ship. Oh, nice, Beak. You are more than welcome to join. I'm on call. call for, I'm on call for you always. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nitro. Your support is much appreciated. And now the second to last uh, game of Guess the Ship. A wipeout H the stats of a wipeout HD ship will appear on screen. Which wipeout HD stats? Which team does these stats belong to? Here we go. Speed 80, thrust 60, handling 60, and shield 10 or 100, if you will. We have a ship here with very high speed and very high shield, but not that much high in anything else. Which ship is this? What are we looking at here? We are looking at a ship that says stats that are not all that suited for racing, I guess, compared to other ships. But Beak is right. No, sorry, 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 Beak, sorry, Beak, you are not right. Nitro, you are right. It's Triakis. Triakis is not. Is it the only team that has the the shield the shield stats all that high, all the way to the top? I think so, actually. And Oricom was not a very bad guess, actually. The Oricom stats are very similar. I think they have 19 shield and they have 10 points in something else. I think they have 19 speed as well. So Triakis and Oricom have very similar stats. But actually, Oricom, tra Oricom has a much higher ground grip than Triakis. So Triakis is a ship that doesn't turn very fast and it drifts a lot in the corners. So I guess 
track is a ship that you might want to play as if it, the ship really, really suits your playstyle. No, it's track is crap. Okay. <laughs> So I guess that Orica might be slightly more viable for racing. Tier <laughs> would it load quite quickly. Oh, I see, I missed the comment from Lady White here. Although I'm a Karik's main, I love the design of AD systems in pure Pulse HD. Super iconic in the second version of the series. Yeah, I think the AD system strip looks great as well. My least favorite is much of this design of Fusion. Okay. Yeah, the Fusion designs look a bit different. And Beak says track is only one. And you also mentioned that Lady, Lady White says my absolute favorite track is uh, Icarus Fury design. Yeah, that ship looks really good as well. I think we're doing one more event tonight. We are going to unlock the AD Systems prototype. Let's see. Okay, this is a race. So I should come first rather than shoot people. Ah, oh, Blender Yavulok is here. Great to have you here, mate. Yes, I finally catch it finally caught stream. How's your weekend been? My weekend has been just fine. What have I been doing? Yeah, video game wise I have been playing AG a bit Systems of Total the Time. Sonic Superstars with my four year old daughter. She enjoys it a lot. I have actually successfully indoctrinated one of my children to like Sonic very much. Because we play with our Sonic action figures, we watch Sonic Prime on Netflix, and we play Sonic Superstars together. So that's one interest we, we share that I have, <laughs> yeah, sort of indoctrinated her into. And play, we play, I play racing games with her as well. We play um, Mario Kart on my switch because it's quite simple to yeah pick up anywhere and just uh, play a couple of races and I'm not the biggest Nintendo fan in the world but I will compliment oh we got the skill cut there I will compliment Nintendo for putting a lot of oh, the ship turns so fast <laughs> for putting a lot of effort into Sorry, I can't speak for the benefit. For putting a lot of effort into accessibility options. Because Mario Kart, when you race in that game, your ship, your ship, your uh, motorbike or, or car will auto accelerate if you turn it on. You can also turn on auto steering, so the ship will. Auto steer when you uh, when you near a, a corner, meaning that you could essentially just watch the sc watch the screen and uh, the game will just play itself. And then what you can do is you need to actively jump and actively throw banana shells at your opponents and so on. I'm not racing very well now. Okay, here we go. Here we can make a double barrel. Yeah, I'm not... I think the double barrels are cool and all, but they are not very... It's not a very effective trait, because it really limits the places where you can actually do barrel rolls. Or oh, maybe I should have done a combat spin. Because this ship can do combat spins in regular is Oh, there's the skill cut that I always forget about. First place. Okay, I have a couple of people ahead of me and I can do a combo spin now. There should have done, done a variable. And I don't think I'll make it to do a variable there. New lap record. Okay, the person in first place is quite a bit ahead of the rest of us. I'm stuck at again. Next time I'll get it. I'm just. Oh, come on, I made it. Missile. Why did I absorb a quake? 
Oh, there's the first, first place. New lap record. Oh, we're not done yet. Yeah, I remember now. This is an endurance race. Ten laps. I didn't watch the lap counter. Oh, I missed the skill cut again. Okay, but you know what? Seventh times the charm. If anyone could remind me of the skill cut, you'll need to write preemptively about uh, 15 seconds before I get there because there's a delay in the chat. But if you can do that, then I can make it to the skill cut. And now we are in first place at least. Yeah, I. Once again, I assume that the many of you who are watching know a lot about the prototype ships in uh, Wipeout 2048. Ah, oh, there's a skill cut. Okay, 8 times the charm. But the gimmick with this ship is that it has it extremely high handling. I think it um, turns the faster out of all the ships in the game. And you can also do combat spins mid-race. So I could actually throw the quake backwards there, but apparently for some reason it didn't go backwards. I guess I pulled the trigger too early. And you can also do double barrel rolls, which and which give you an extra speed boost. I missed the skill cut again. But as you saw there, if I would have had a regular barrel roll, I would have made it uh, the barrel roll there and got the speed boost. But now that I have the double barrel rolls, I'm will I'm not able to make the double barrel roll all the on all the jumps because it takes longer to perform a double barrel roll, and therefore you miss quite a few speed boosts. So even if you get a, a larger speed boost when you actually perform the double barrel rolls, I think there is a net loss in barrel roll speed boost with this game, with this ship. I miss the skill cut again. Can we try it again? Compass spin, quake. Okay, I think that the quakes only go one way in race events. <laughs> Which is it's a bit of a shame. Maybe it could have been overpowered. <laughs> Even there I didn't make it. And there <laughs> we got it! On the tenth time. Who is your daddy shortcut skill cut I mean? There we go, pitching up as much as I could. We're never gonna make it there. I'll be just 2.1 seconds ahead, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, here's the finish line. And we unlocked one of my favorite teams in the game. No, so sorry team, one of my favorite ships in the game. The AD Systems prototype. I think it's really fun to play, even though it doesn't go all that fast. Let's see what I miss here. Oh, the Wipeout Academy video. All right, uh, yeah, big. I will definitely. I have seen a bit of a hectic uh, couple of weeks now, but I will definitely get on making the the Wipeout Academy video that we talked about. Oh, let's see what I miss here. Yeah, Blender, Blender Bullock says, yeah, Nintendo is great at that. I also play Mario Kart in my little niece. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think it's a game that works really well to play with little with little children. And it's a, yeah, it's a good game. It's a top-selling game as well. Let's see here. That's the big question. Yeah, sorry, Big. I should have been... Uh, it's uh, been quite quite some time since you sent me your footage from the uh, Academy video. But I, just, um, I assure you, I will get on that. Also, check DMs in uh, general, please. I'm not on your favorite. Hang on, why RP me? What did I miss? On race, one of the AFAs got eliminated. No worries. Okay. Elite pass. First place. Alright, I said that. Now we unlock the ship. And now I think the first event of the 2050 campaign was a race. So now we're gonna see if this ship is viable in an actual race here. AG Systems Prototype. And that AG Systems Prototype will end the stream. 
Sorry, you dumped our convoy. Yeah, sorry. I, was, uh, I haven't because I haven't been very good at checking my messages on on Discord. <laughs> so I thought you were referring to me. But no, no, no. Please go speak. Use my live chat, your live chat. <laughs> speak about the topics that you want to talk about. And now we're going to see if we can actually win a race in the campaign with a distance prototype. The super agile but very slow prototype ship. Let's see if we can end the stream with a win. Oh, Jesus Christ, things are fast. This must be an A class. I guess we are, yeah, we are on the 2050 campaign where everything goes very fast. We will get a quake there. But ow! Yeah, we got a lot of time for double barrels here, at least. I tend on this high. When the speeds are this high, I tend to skip can because I think it. You really don't have time to aim that weapon. But a missile is always much easier to to get off. Okay, we are in first place, so I guess. But these guys know about the skill cut. That I missed. And everything. I have definitely time to do a double barrel there. But it doesn't help me because I bumped into people. <laughs> oh, 37 health. I need to absorb this. Ah, oh, I did not mean to do a barrel there. Now I lost 15 health for no reason. But here it comes. Ah, oh, I just missed it. Okay. Okay, now I need to... Yeah, there's the skill cut. Or at least the wall protecting the skill cut. Yeah, this is an agility ship, so I do get the two rockets. Speed ships get one, and fighter ships get three. Plasma, great for absorbing. And you can see all the jankiness there. That's what happens with, uh, even though I like the ship a lot, I tend to stray away from ships with maxed out handling nowadays because I just keep overcorrecting myself when I get out of corners. And that's the last race, last lap. And apparently we could take the gold medal. And we do have a couple of people watching right mm -hmm. now, but I think that will give a good place to end the stream there. Only Elite Pass medals so far in the 2050 League. We got a good amount of Elite Passes in the 2049 League, and I think we're only short of one here. Oh, yeah, and I haven't mentioned the A plus challenges. Let's see if I cover the A plus challenges on, the, on this stream series. <laughs> yeah, I am not entirely sure about that. Yeah, like I said, that was a good way to end the stream. Thank you everybody for joining. All the all my peeps were here. Hey hey, Big Blendrio Bullocks, uh, Nitro, and uh, hey hey, and uh, all, all the people I forget forgot to mention. You should never start to mention individual people because you always forget. So so if I got forgot your name, I'm sorry. Uh, did we have yeah? Who did we have here in the beginning? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. I was happy that you were here tonight. Thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate your support. Hang out during, during these live streams. I really enjoy making them. And I really enjoy <coughs> hanging out with you guys in chat. But let's look forward to some more races in the future. I will arrange the next round of the 2048 Team vs. Team Cup. And I'll guess see you guys then, if not before. So, thank you everybody for watching. Everybody for watching. I am Eric from Age Racing Central. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.